Today we're going to try and take apart a Creative D100 Bluetooth speaker. Uh, I'm going to get into the whole un unscrewing thing here in a little bit. I'll show you. I have to switch over to a top-down camera that I'm, I have in another location. But uh, we have this uh, Creative D100. I don't know if you can hear it here, but uh, there's something inside. Either a piece fell off or somebody, I won't name names, but somebody little might have stuck something into this base reflex hole in the back. And there's no way, uh, obviously, that, to open this. There's no screws visible. And we did some research online. Uh, this, this D100 is probably 10 years old. They probably sold a couple hundred thousand of them. So there's people out there that probably have these things that might want to take them apart. And hopefully my little video here will help them. But a lot of people say use a glue gun to undo this fabric. The fabric is really, it's not only aesthetic, uh, but it also keeps dust out and keeps people from poking the speakers, which are right in here. Um, they use a glue gun and they rip the fabric off, which you'll never get back on. Um, but there's eight screw holes here. There's one, two, three, four, you know, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to try and figure out a way to either burn a hole where the screw uh, chambers are or use a slight razor blade. Because I don't really need to take the screws out, out. I just have to unscrew them from their, you know, receptacle there. And they, they can be out. Uh, they're just loose inside underneath the fabric and then I'll be able to take this cover off and see what's going on inside I can either fix it now a lot of people might have to solder a new wire inside something might have gone bad You know there's something called a cold solder joint that when the solder joint just goes bad and no longer is conductive you can just either uh, Reheat it just dab the soldering iron on the cold solid solder joint or add a little more solder and you can re re uh, um, activate the, the connection. But I'm going to take this out. I'm going to find out what's making this really annoying rattling sound because it, it just sounds cheap when there's something rattling. So, but like I said, this thing works. I just want to once and for all look inside to find what it's out. So let's see what it's all about. Okay, NJ Route 22 here and we're going to try and fix this Creative D100 speaker. Now there's nothing wrong with it actually. There's just something inside. I want to get it out. It's really annoying. So what you have here is you have eight screws. Most people on YouTube basically well, they didn't know what to do, and if you they used a heat gun to pull this speaker fabric off, or some people actually just took a knife and cut it off. I don't want to do either. Heat gun is too involved, and the, the, the about the only thing I would do is use a razor blade to cut it off. But I want to keep the the mesh on. It keeps the speakers um, from being poked. There's some protection there. So there's eight screws. One, two, three, four, and then there's one, two, three, four. I was going to mark them off, but I'm going to take a razor blade. Here's the tools I have. I have a uh, power drill to uh, unscrew the screws, and I'll just leave them in there behind the fabric because I'll just be able to f feel it out and screw them back in. I've got pliers just in case I need. I have a, a more precision screwdriver. I have a flathead just in case I need to do some prying and I have my razor blade which I'm going to do now and I'm going to live on the air cut the little slits in it this is I'm just going to cut little slits just a little bit slits so I big enough to get the screw screwdriver through so I'm just going to take a razor blade oops I don't care if I end up mashing it up and like I said the speaker actually works. I just want to get rid of the... Wait a minute. These aren't screw holes. It looks like I'm going to have to take the name entire thing. Maybe it's only four screws. These aren't screw holes. All right, change of plans. I'm actually just going to take a razor and cut the whole entire grill off. I really don't care at this point. I just want to get that annoying thing off. I don't care if it's ripped. Although, I probably am going to regret this because this speaker isn't being made anymore. So I just ruined the speaker. Whatever. I really don't care. There are no screw holes in it. What a drag. I 
And I just ruined the damn speaker. Just to look inside. Well, that's haste for you, whatever. So now you have this freaking thing in the middle. And this is probably where you need the glue gun. Maybe that's where it pop just pops out. You never know. Well, whatever. You live and learn. So I ripped the whole damn cover off. There's no screws at all. So I look like an idiot. That's fine. I'm going to try and pry it open. You never know. Now look at that. It just pops right out. I should have done that to begin with. So these are just held in by little plugs. I could have just popped it open without doing anything, but I guess there's something under here. So I'm not even gonna bother using a glue gun, because I don't want, I mean, a heat gun. So there's obviously something behind here holding it together. This is how I do things. I just try and figure it out. Oh, it does pop out. It's just glue. That's how you get it out. And there was some sort of grippy things here, as you could see, that hold it in. You, you, you stick it in and then, wait a minute. I guess this is Bluetooth uh, wireless. This is like a wireless connector because I don't see any wires here. So it's held together with little plastic clamps, which I broke one of, it appears. I broke one right here. So this thing is freaking ruined. But you need this control panel here. This is the control panel. I guess it's wireless. When you turn it on, it sends wireless signals because there's no metal contacts anywhere. These are just buttons. Oh, wait, here's the buttons. So it's not wireless, my bad. This, these just push these buttons here. And they use hot glue. That should have been the way to do it. Oh, well, so I guess I don't need my power screwdriver after all. So I'm gonna take this old glue off and now there are, indeed, let me get my flashlight. If I have one here, this is it's too bright for this use here, but, oh shit. Are you fucking kidding me? I rolled over my uh, wire for my, that's why, I, anyway, here we go. There are indeed eight screws there. So I still have to take it apart to get inside. So I did pretty much destroyed the speaker. So there's I'm looking uh there are four more screws six more screws. I feel like such an idiot. This one's too far down. I need a very long Phillips head to get those out. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I need a longer screwdriver. I'm going to do this. Looks like I'm going to buy myself a new Bluetooth uh, speaker one of these days. All these screws are out now. One, two, three. I really am the worst YouTube fixer-upper sometimes. how to get these so I can sort of get it out but I need these other two guys to be 
unscrew it. And I really need a fine, so I'm like, I'll be right back. I'm gonna get a manual tool. Okay, I'm back. I lost audio in the second clip here, but here's the money shot. The money shot is that we found a little alligator inside the speaker, and that was uh, exciting for us. I have to say, now it doesn't rattle. But the rest of the clip is me putting the speaker back together. Again, I have to say that I'm a little pissed that I didn't think harder about it and made the assumption that there were four screws directly underneath the, what do you call it, the uh, fabric, the speaker fabric, whatever you call that uh, stuff. But I guess in the end, uh, I liked uh, exploring things and we have the ability to uh, learn from our mistakes and and uh, what do you call it? Put uh, put these uh, knowledge, uh, the knowledge that we gained in this into future experiments. Hopefully, we don't make the same mistake again. But I, I really don't care. It's look at the bright side. You know, now it looks cool. You see a speaker, whatever. It's like a it's worth ten bucks, I think, online. You can, I can buy another one if I felt like it. But the thing works, and that's that. Um, maybe one day we'll buy. Um, another Bluetooth speaker if we have extra money, but I'll do a little ending here in the studio. In the end, I'm actually kind of mad at myself. I'm not, it's not the end of the world as the product, the speaker still works, but I wasn't mindful enough to realize like how stupid could I be that they would put screws underneath the fabric. So I ended up destroying the fabric because I just wasn't thinking. And in the end, I, I think, I mean, I really don't care. I didn't want to use a heat gun anyway. So this was probably the ultimate end result. But if you wanted to keep it looking good, use a heat gun, shoot it towards the middle here. It'll melt the or soften the glue and just use a screwdriver to pry it out. So that's it. Maybe you can uh, learn from my mistake. If you like, hit the subscribe and like and all that, and I'll see you next video.